Hey guys, this video is all about looking good in your passport photo because I'm getting my passport renewed and I'm getting the 10 year. I love my vibrant hair, but I don't know what I'm going to think about that 10 years from now. I'll either think, ugh, I look like a clown, or damn, I used to be so cool, what happened? Anyways, here's a peek at what my current passport looks like, taken in 2013. My hair is white, like what the F, how is that possible? I don't know, I look kind of scary. Anyways, let's get started. Starting with foundation, I'm going in with my Stila Stay All Day Foundation. It's a bit more full coverage and that's what I want. I don't want to see any darkness. This look is still going to be really bright and fresh, but I just want to mask imperfections as best I can. Next, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Contour Wand. And I'm just going to give myself a slight little contour. There's totally a bit more contrast in the photos, so when you are contouring those, the shadows are a bit exaggerated, so you don't want to go too crazy with contouring, um, but just something that looks a bit natural that will give your face a beautiful shape. Going in with my Annabelle Perfect Corrector in yellow, I'm going to brighten up the face like under my eyes, around the nose, chin, and forehead. I don't want any signs of age. I don't want any signs of dark eye bags. I'm going to apply this concealer under my eyes. I'm going to go hard because I want to look like a fresh baby. I want to look back at this photo 10 years from now and be like, oh, I was such a baby. Take me back. Now with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder, I'm going to mattify the face. And this is super important because you do not want to look shiny in your passport photos. So using a fine powder will definitely give you that flawless porcelain finish. Oh, your passport photo will thank you. My nose goes wider at the top, narrows, and then goes wide again. So I like to contour my nose and I use Smashbox's Shape Matters palette because I find that the matte shades in the palette are just the perfect tones for my face. Whenever I do this, I feel like I'm painting, um, but I just take just the smallest amount of product and just with small strokes, I lightly mask the wider areas of my nose, slowly going down and then doing it on the other side. A quick, painless, free nose job. Woohoo! and I contour underneath to give the illusion of a finer tip. Now I'm gently going in with powder to diffuse any harsh lines. Now adding color to my cheeks, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Blush Palette. I'm using more pinkish coral tones and I'm giving myself a rosy little flush. Eyebrow time and I'm using my usual. I'm going in with my Kiss Professional Top Brow. This is an ebony and I'm just filling in those brows, giving them some shape. Um, it's kind of funny because, you know, eyebrow trends change. Who knows what it's going to be like in 10 years? Is the skinny brow trend going to come back? I really hope not. That was a nightmare in the 90s, early 2000s. Lost a lot of hairs. Thank goodness. They grew back, but man, they could have been way thicker, I'm telling you. Keeping it pretty light and natural with my eyes, going in with my NYX Lid Lingerie Palette. And this is just like a really pretty light coral color. Um, I'm just going to give some color to my eyes, create some depth with a little bit of a darker brown shade. And that's about it, really. Now I'm going in with my Fake Awake by Tarte Cosmetics and this stick I am applying on my lower lash line and in the inner corners of my eye just to create the illusion that I had a full 8 hours sleep last night. I'm not applying my usual wing liner. Um, I'm going to keep this really soft but I am going to apply fake lashes because I don't have any. So I'm going to get a little help with my friends. And these are the Lux False Lashes from the Sephora Collection in Quill. The mascara I'm using is the Guerlain Maxi Lash Intense Volumizing Mascara. I'm keeping my lips natural and I'm lining my lips with the L'Oreal Color Rich Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade 110 and it's called Matte's It. For the all over shade, I'm using Stay Matte by Ramel and this is in the shade Rosetto Liquido. Liquido. Rosetto Liquido. Liquido. Keeping everything in place with my oil-free makeup setting spray by Urban Decay. There you have it, people. Simple, fresh, and natural. Perfect for passport photos. So for my hair, it's going to be down. But I'm going to have one side tucked behind the ear, and then I'm going to leave the rest. Just a little pulled back so you can see my full face. And then I'm going to flatten the flyaways with my Way Soft Hairspray. I don't know about where you guys live, but here in Canada, you can't smile in your passport photos. So here are some tricks that will help you look less like a criminal in your photo. 
Tip number one, point your chin down and slightly push it forward. It will define the jawline and it looks flattering on every face shape. Second tip is to push your ears and forehead back, giving yourself like a mini facelift. This will just give your eyes like that smoldering gaze. Tip three is to give yourself that teeniest non-smile smile, like just enough to get rid of any signs of resting bee face. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. I got my photos done though. Wanna see? Bam, there it is. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll let you know what my 37 year old self thinks. 10 years, man. That's a long time. Okay, hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Adios amigos.